This is polynomial long division part two. Here's the problem, here's the setup in the long division format, and we'll start dividing. First, first. So it's x cubed over x, which is x to the first. Use your exponent laws, which says keep the base and subtract. So this is just x squared. Another way to look at this, rather than doing this division, is think about what times x will give me x cubed? Well, it won't have to be x squared. So some people like to think of it that way. x squared times this will be x cubed minus x squared because we've got to multiply that times the whole divisor. Draw the line. Change the signs. Those cancel. If those don't, you have done something wrong right off the bat. This x squared is like a 1x squared. 4x squared plus 1x squared is 5x squared bring down the next term of 3x and begin again. First, end of the first. So 5x squared divided by x, use your exponent laws, will give us a positive 5x. Multiply your 5x times the whole divisor, gives us 5x squared minus 5x. Draw the line, change both those signs, 5x squared, negative 5x squared cancels out, which is great. That's what we want. 3x plus 5x is 8x. Bring down your next term and begin again. 8x divided by x. The x is canceled. We just get a plain old 8. Come back and multiply. 8 times the whole thing. It's 8x minus 8. Draw the line. Change those signs. Cancels out and we get a remainder of positive 3. So we come up here and we put plus 3 over x minus 1. Here's the problem in the horizontal format, and here I've gone to the long division setup, but notice we're going to end up with a problem, and it's this. This went from x cubed down to x to the first. We are missing an x squared. When that happens, you have to set up your long division this way. You have to supply what we call a placeholder. Whenever you are missing an exponent somewhere along the way, you must supply a placeholder. And all you do is put 0 times x to that missing power. Now it's set up so that you can continue dividing. Do you absolutely have to do this placeholder thing? No, but it's just safer. It's going to help you keep your variables lined up correctly. So I suggest when you're missing a power, use the placeholder. And then we begin x with 4x cubed. So 4x cubed divided by x, using your exponent laws, will give you 4x squared. Come back and multiply. That's 4x cubed plus 4x squared. If you didn't use the placeholder, you would have been putting a plus 4x squared right there, lining up an x squared with an x. Those are not like terms, and I'm afraid you're going to get messed up. So that's why we need the placeholder. So we're ready to do our subtracting routine. And to do the subtracting, draw the line change the signs. So 4x cubed, negative 4x squared, go away. 0 minus 4 is negative 4x squared. Bring down your next term, negative 6x, begin your division again. Negative 4x squared over x is going to give me negative 4x. Come back and multiply. It's negative 4x squared minus 4x. Draw the line change your signs. Those cancel out. We have negative 2x minus 5. We're ready to begin dividing again. Negative 2x divided by x gives me negative 2. Multiply the negative 2 times the whole divisor is negative 2x minus 2. Draw the line. Change both those signs. The 2x is cancel. We're going to get as a remainder negative 3. So put that negative 3 over your divisor right here. Let's take a look at another one that's going to require a placeholder. Notice right off here from the bat we've got x cubed, x squared. We are missing the plain old x term so that when we go to our setup, here's our x minus 2, but notice we have a placeholder here because we were missing the plain old x term. Now we're ready to start dividing. 6x cubed divided by x will give us 6x squared right here. Multiply the 6x squared times both of those is 6x cubed minus 12x squared. So you're ready to 
draw the line, change the signs, the 6x cubes cancel, 7x squared and 12x squared is 19x squared plus your 0x. You're ready to begin dividing again. 19x squared over x is a big old 19x. Come back and multiply. 19x times the whole divisor is 19x squared minus 38x. We're ready to subtract, so that's our draw the line, change the signs, both of them. Cancels out the 19, 0, and 38 is 38x. Bring down your last term of negative 5. Start your dividing again. 38x over x cancels out, gives us a plain old 38. Multiply 38 times the whole divisor. 38x minus 76. Draw the line. Change those signs. Cancels out, and we're going to get a remainder of 71. So we'll put plus 71 over x minus 2. Be sure you put the plus in between here. Don't leave that fraction just hanging out there. We do need the plus in between. If you look back at all the ones we have done so far, both in this video and in the previous video, we only divided by x plus something or x minus something, not a coefficient. Sometimes there is a coefficient in front of x, and that's okay. The process is no different at all. So we are still looking at the first into the first. So I come over to the side and put 6x cubed over 3x. Do my canceling and my exponent law, and this will be 2x squared. Come back and multiply 2x squared times the whole divisor. You've got to do it by the whole thing. Is 6x cubed minus 2x squared. We're ready to subtract, so we will draw the line and change both of those signs. Those cancel out like they're supposed to. This will add up and give me 9x squared. Bring down your next term, which is a positive 12x, and you are ready to begin dividing again with the first into the first. 9x squared over 3x. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and x squared over x gives me an x. Come back and multiply 3x times both of those. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x. Time to subtract, so draw the line, change the signs. The 9x squareds cancel. 12x plus 3x is 15x. Bring down your minus 5 is the next term, and begin again with 15x divided by 3x. x is cancel, and that's just 5. And I will say it again. Notice our answer is coming out in descending order of exponents, and that's just a little check that you can be sure you've got your exponents right. Come back and multiply 5 times the whole thing is 15x minus 5. Draw the line. Change the signs. 15x minus 15x cancels. Negative 5, positive 5 cancels. We have no remainder, and that is our answer right there. Similar one, it's set up in the fraction form. We go down to the polynomial form and start dividing. This is 3x cubed divided by 3x because we're only doing first into the first, and the 3's cancel. x cubed over x using your exponent laws is x squared. Multiply x squared times both of those. x squared times 3x is 3x cubed. x squared times 2 is a positive 2x squared. Ready to subtract, so we draw the line, change those signs. 3x cubed, negative 3x cubed, go away. Negative 10x squared and the negative 2x squared is a negative 12x squared, minus 11x. And begin again, negative 12x squared divided by 3x. So negative 12 divided by 3 is a negative 4. x squared over x with the exponent laws just gives you x. Come back and multiply. 4x times the whole thing is negative 12x squared minus 8x. Subtract. So we draw the line, change the signs. The 12x squareds cancel. Negative 11x plus 8x is negative 3x minus 5, and begin again. Negative 3x divided by 3x will just give us negative 1. Multiply negative 1 times a whole divisor is negative 3x minus 2. 
subtract by drawing the line, change the signs. The 3x and the negative 3x cancel. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. So bring your remainder up here as negative 3 over 3x plus 2. You can put a plus in between here, or it could have just been minus here with a 3 right there on the top.